What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment, bringing you some more NR2003 today because we've got a lot to unpack after a wild weekend of racing on the dirt. There was destruction, there was a pretty good race, and there was a wacky wild finish, an absolutely hacked up, backed into win, and a whole bunch more that we're going to try to match the energy up here today. The goal is to rewrite history lightning challenge style for poor Tyler Reddick by avoiding any shadow roaming. We do not want to get bodied. We actually want to make it to that finish line and collect that dub. If we got to take out any Chase Briscoes or anybody else who wants to try to give us the business along the way, then damn it, that's just what we'll have to do. So with that, we're ready to roll off. This one is about to begin. It's time to get down and dirty, ladies and gentlemen. Strap on in. It's time for Bristol, baby. As we cross the line, let the games begin. And the bumper bashing of LaJoy as we just dispose of him. Get him out of the way. That's two of them down already, bright and early. Imagine that, how unfortunate. 100 feet into the race, your services are already no longer requiring. We will remember them for, oh, if I don't wreck myself immediately, and that's what we're gonna do. And Ty in the game car is gonna clean me up, and I'm climbing the wall. Are you kidding me? Am I really gonna, all right, I'll just hang out here, I guess. Barely one lap completed, maybe the worst corner exit you'll ever see in your life, and then the weirdest, like, slow ward Burton climb ever. Well, I finally try out the onboard free cam stuff, and it only exposes me because I can't even blame Michael McDowell, and then oh, look at this. What a shot this is. Look at this cloud of smoke. I can't see a goddamn thing, and I'm gonna, I'm, I guess I'll die. I'm not even gonna get through the corner. I didn't do this at all at Cody. You know what? Let's go ahead and knock one out right now. We're gonna be sneaking out in the dust here. We catch Chase Elliott by surprise. He never even knew what hit him. That poor guy, and this is an ultra big one right here. That just took like 25 cars out of this deal. And then this, this certainly wasn't the Tyler Reddick retribution plot that I had in mind for today. I wanted to rewrite a little history, but that's a little more extreme. And then to boot, to top it all off, we didn't even hit the right chase for crying out loud. Oh, there's another pack for the counter on Recky too, of all people. I feel like we owe one to him out of principle. There's a slide job and a half. How's that taste, buddy? You go ahead and you let me know. But also, what the hell is Ricky even doing back here? Isn't he some big dirt aficionado? What is this? And I'm about to destroy Bubba's whole world. I almost did. See, this wouldn't happen if he was in that jacket car. It's a little angle or just doing me no favors. Or the apron strikes. I'm going to get killed by McDowell. There it is. Came up just a touch too much. And now I'm getting packed to smithereens. And the hits keep coming. What am I, a pinball? Please give it a rest, guys. Thank you. We'll free cam it from down here and see how it looks. And it looks a lot more like McDowell's fall from that angle. I think I like that last one. <laughs> that looked good. These hits don't look as good, and they just keep on coming. Never do I stop wearing a target around here. Cody, let me cut through, man. And just, instead, we cut down LaJoy again. Not sure why I have a heat seeker for him today on restarts, but apparently we do. And that's not the only thing we have it for, I guess. There goes Ty again, and here I go up and over and in the fence. And landing on top of Josh Williams. There is no reason for me to be in the fence at Bristol. So this might have been slightly caused by an on-track meltdown of mine, and it came back to me. Oh, my, the air we got on that is incredible. All the way up above the safer barrier, for sure. And in the fence. Hey, Ailey, what do you say we make this real interesting? Make this four wide, brother. What do you think of that? He almost takes Kurt Busch to the cleaners right there. Oh, I'm going to take them all. I swear I didn't mean to do that. They like half ass brake check me in these corners as it is. And I'm not done wrecking people. There goes Custer taking a bunch of the wall. I think I took Truex out. See if I can just take it right to Harvick down here. We'll break some more wheels off of you if we got it. I'm leaning on him until I can't anymore, and it's gonna cost me. That cost me everything I've ever had. I'm back here now. Sorry, Kyle, but this is not your timeline, my friend. You might as well just sit back there and watch. Watch the buffoonery that's about to take place in front of you here, including bodying Cedric in the wall right there, the white flag for whatever this is, eighth. I don't think we're even going to get a top five if this keeps up. Harvick's over here hitting that eye side. I can't even get past him unless I really cheese it on exit here. I'm going to throw the slide chop on him and that wasn't even close. I'm going to kill myself up and over. Oh There's my the god, the door. flip streak continues. I can't be stopped. Great job, buddy. At least we did it after the race is over this time, and I'm still getting hit, as is tradition. Have I flipped in every single one of these races so far? Because this sure as hell feels like I flipped over two cars right there. I feel like I didn't give that and I didn't sell that out of the first time. We got to respect that. And then I got hit a whole nother time sent me into a twister. See, I got to give credit to these AI because at least they do try to go three wide on their own. That takes guts and tricks trying something else. 
We're gonna introduce him to his guts. He tries that again. Trust me, I would know, buddy. This place is not playing any games right now. I have rolled on every inch of this surface already. Just let me go and it won't be an issue. I've got no issues as long as I ride on this bottom, unless I lose all my damn momentum like that. Oh, God, look out, Suarez. I'm sorry, not again. What do I have against Suarez? It seems like the racing gods want me to have a rivalry with this guy. They make me take him out. I'll take this three wide if I have to. And I have a question to ponder. I want to know what Kyle Busch thinks of the two car now that Brad's not in it anymore. So I'm, about to, I'm about to make them get real close to each other and figure it out. But I wonder if Kyle, every now and then when he goes by the car, he's like, oh, God, it's Brad again. He's like, oh, yeah, that's right. No, it's not. Because those two, they have obviously had some history. There are certainly some feelings packed up in there, like how we're packed in this corner. Three wide, and Denny Hamlin's packed in my ass. Right in my wheel well. White flag waves, and I mean, hell, at least we're in the top five this time. We're getting closer. I'm still stuck fighting last year's winner. This would be great if it was 2021, and the slide job could stick. That would really be grand. But it did not, not even remotely, and there goes everyone. I'm supposed to be rewriting history, and I'm making it worse here for Reddick, and I certainly feel like I am, as I'm going to put a block on Denny, and once again, he meets my wheel well and sends me up on my side for the second or third or tenth time today. Who's even keeping track at this point? As we're going to rack up a few more hundred thousands of dollars worth of damage at the end of this thing after the flag has flown. If you didn't know any better, you would think this is coming off the corner for the win, but no, it's absolutely for nothing. At least this one, we got Rock coming to the finish line, and this one has a... Much worse or better result, depending on how you look at things. Getting up on two wheels and then just steering it right back into the path of traffic. Because I'm not going down with this ship alone, damn it. We're going to rack up a few more souls with this one. Starting to wonder if I should just leave the damn thing in fourth up here. This might be better off. Trying to be a cool ass like the real drivers, because I know they were shifting around here. And I was thinking it was helping, but it might have just been hurt. That would have been great information to know about 30 minutes ago. But nevertheless, here we are, and it actually appears to be helping. Can I get by Legato? No, I cannot. I did not self-clear either, ladies and gentlemen. That's called growth. That is a sign of learning right there. I didn't just self-clear myself into oblivion Kyle Busch style. We actually spared our own life for once. I'm gonna leave those slide jobs in the past, and I gained two spots because of it. Look at that. I cannot be stopped now. Would you look at who's in the lead? Do my eyes deceive me up here? The Wreckfest gods can't even line it up that good. Come on, NR, what do you know? I think it knows we are trying to get ourselves a little retribution for Reddick, and we almost got it right there, but we held off. We gotta keep this clean. We're coming to the white flag. We gotta get our shot and not get a shot back, as Blaney needs to take a seat. Blaney, this is bigger than you, bud. I do not need you on the brain right now. I need better exits than that, and I didn't get one, so we're gonna have to get the entrance of a lifetime right into the side of him, and it did nothing. It did absolutely nothing. He just bounced off of Josh Williams and kept going. You gotta be kidding me. What are we in the darkest timeline? Eat some wall, dude. Why? Josh Williams, why couldn't you just move out of the way? That was gonna be it. We had his ass numbered. I'm telling you, Briscoe, you might not be in the lead, but I am still considering bodying my ass right here. It might, in fact, it might be a real shame if I drift up the track and just knock you out of the way and apparently up into the dust. And he's just getting faster up there and drives away from me. Okay. All right, you know what? We're gonna take a cue. From Reddick's post-race interview, we're going to just be an absolute non-violent... We're going to be Gandhi, basically. We're just going to not do anything to anybody. We're just going to be... We're just going to be driving down here. It's like two lanes on the highway. I'm over here. You're over there. We're having a great time. It's not even a race. This is not a race. Races are just a myth. This is actually working, and it's kind of pissing me off. And Joy Legato's going to put me in the wall right there just to go ahead and remind me this is reality. I'm not wasting any more time with these two obstacles. These, these guys are idiots. The Bugle Boys just refuse to do anything, so I, I can't let them hold me up any further. We're going to get caught from behind. And Blaney's going to be a big problem. He's going to get bodied. He's going to have some big problems if he's not careful up here. Blaney, what part of this is bigger than you do you not understand? This is about a man's first win here. This is about setting the timeline back on the correct course. Can you not see that we are in the darkest of dark timelines? The white flag is flying here on a track that I'm pretty sure is run by Biff from Back to the Future. Because look at it, dude. It's covered in dirt. Look what they did to it. And now we got to hold on for one more set of quarters here. We could do it. We could put it away. We could reset it all. Balance to the world as it should be. There it is. Throw that checkered flag out there. It's over. At long last, we've been spared from this hell. The timeline is fixed. So who could have guessed that not shifting was actually the secret to defeating Briscoe and putting things back on the right track? 
And that wasn't the only thing here. We might have put a few fenders into him, knocked him up into the dirty stuff that somehow powered him up like that was a Hot Wheels track speed lane or something. And I like that right after we got done totally evaluating our inner self, Joey the Gano takes one last shot at us. One more opportunity for us to get got in this race. Then we get ourselves up to the battle for the lead, a three-way dog fight, and we about take Blaney to the cleaners a couple of times, man. And we're gonna throw one back in on his bumper there too, almost like it's Bristol or something. However, these degenerates were no match for the destiny that was laying just behind them in third, of course. We come off the corner. Blaney's got nowhere to go with that run. We're just gonna send it right under Chase. And once we take that lead, there is no looking back. It is only a question of second at this point because off the final corner, that eight car's in the lead and no one's gonna catch him. Take him to victory lane, let that flag fly. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we will begin to wrap things up as Reddick burns it down in the dirt. You have to imagine we're gonna see something like this in real life sometime soon with Reddick burning it down in a cup car. It has to be coming. It's unbelievable how he keeps getting robbed of these races that he probably should win. It's so much so that it was the first video idea that came into my head as those events unfolded. And turns out it was a lot of fun to kind of rewrite history lightning challenge style. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe for some more. Hit me in the comments for future video suggestions. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.